Rightio, um, we're going to look at uh, uh, exercise 5F in the Cambridge Extension 2 textbook, uh, which is talking about uh, the vector equation of a line. I'm going to break this up into uh, a few little, little videos so that there's not a whole lot of confusion. Um, we're going to begin by looking at um, what would be the equation of a line that goes from the origin through a particular uh, point. Um, so, okay, in the past I've said that, uh, that extension two maths isn't so much like lifting up our understanding to a high level, it's actually managing to sort of drill down deeper into things that we already know. So let's look at something that we already know uh, and then see how, uh, see what that tells us, okay? So if I was to give you just in normal coordinate geometry, uh, if I was to pick the point uh, 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 2, 3, and I said that I wanted the equation of the line that goes uh, through the origin and the point 2, 3. Okay, well, that's not too hard. Uh, well, it's going to be, I mean, there's, I've drawn the line. That's going to be uh, all of the points, all of the points that satisfy uh, the equation uh, y equals uh, 3 over 2x. Okay. Uh, it goes through the origin, so there's no constant to be added or subtracted. There's no plus b. Uh, and the gradient is simply the rise divided by the run. Okay. So notice the language that I said. Okay. So... The equation of the line is y equals 3 over 2x, but the line itself is every point. Uh, sorry, the, um, uh, the, the line is a, is a collection of points, and it's every point that obeys that. Okay, so uh, I could have uh, a point down here, say where x equals 1, and where uh, y equals 3 over 2. Or I'll go to point over here where x equals say three, and sorry, and where y equals uh, nine over two, uh, and uh, I mean really I could have any point along there, but I couldn't just have any point. It's got to be a point that uh, that sort of scales, if you like, along that line. Okay, I could have gone up by ones or twos. I could I could go up by a scale of ten or 50, or a half, or I can have negative scales, right? uh, you know, uh, sort of negative two along there, or negative three along there. So I can scale it however I like. Now, listen to that word, scale. Uh, I'm looking, something that scales a vector is, uh, is basically called the scalar. Okay? Uh, we're going to have a look at how uh, a scalar multiple works now. So we're going to go from... Uh, just our, our normal uh, sort of year 10 or year 11 um, uh, coordinate geometry notation. We're going to go into a vector no notation and see exactly how we represent what we see here. So I've lost my... Oh, no, there it is. Okay, swapping back to the magic blue marker. Um, the relationship between a, a, a vector uh, and the origin, uh, or, or a line that goes from the origin to through the vector, is given by uh, the column vectors x, y uh, is equal to lambda. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, uh, Basically, lambda b, whatever, whatever our, our, uh, our other vector was. Okay, so let's look at the example that I that I that I, that I had up before. So x y is going to be some scalar multiple going through the vector two three. Okay, so. Um, I mean, and the sketch would basically look exactly like what the, the coordinate geometry sketch I had up there before. We're doing this in 2D because it's just basically too hard to sketch these things for me in 3D. But what we find, what we'll discover in 2D basically uh, uh, 
um, I was going to say uh, scales up, and it does too. But it scales up to any any uh, dimension that we like. So in two dimensions, what do we have here? Well, uh, if I was to multiply this thing through, I'd have that x was equal to uh, two times lambda, and that y was equal to three times lambda. This gives me a set of uh, parametric equations. Okay, so you, you would have seen your parametric equations in some of your extension one work. Uh, if I eliminate uh, my parameter lambda, uh, I'm going to end up with the equation of uh, uh, the line that I had before. So let's have a look at that. So, so from equation one, lambda equals x over two. Okay, substituting that into equation 2, uh, we get y equals 3 times x over 2, or 3 over 2x. Okay. There's the, uh, here is the equation of uh, the, 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 the line through the origin and the vector 2, 3. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, move on to looking at some more of these parametric equations in just a bit. Uh, but that will be uh, in our in our next. So no, well, I mean, look, all of the um, the parameter equations are all going to work exactly the same way. So I'll let you. I'll give you a chance to work through the exercise in five F. Uh, I'm going to come back in a bit, and the, our next video is going to look at uh, the direction vector and the gradient. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up.